Hi, this is Reese Brown at Network X in Paris. And in this very fitting surroundings of Network X and the Broadband Forum, I'm going to be talking to wi -Fi, about Wi Fi today with Rahul Patel. So, welcome, Rahul. Hi, Ruth. How are you doing? Really great. Thank you. So, we've seen a lot of innovation in Wi Fi over the past few years, especially in the last three to four years. Um, wi Fi 6 and Wi Fi 6E has got a lot of market traction. I'm just wondering, as we see the new evolution onto Wi-Fi 7, how do you think both consumers and service providers will start adopting this new technology? Now, that's an excellent question, Ruth. The Wi-Fi 6 has seen tremendous amount of growth in the last uh, year to two years. I believe uh, it is uh, greater than 50, 60% of uh, adoption on uh, all of the Wi-Fi products now is Wi-Fi 6 and transitioning to Wi-Fi 6E. And so uh, the appetite to consume bandwidth, experience various applications wirelessly on all kinds of devices is uh, growing tremendously. And uh, that is the big reason why the adoption of the latest and greatest Wi-Fi is paramount in the marketplace right now. So industry seems also to be a buzz with the talk of Wi-Fi 7 currently. When do you expect to see that happening based in Europe and also the rest of the world? Excellent question. Again, I think uh, from a Qualcomm perspective, the buzz is a reality. We have already delivered uh, our products in production, both for uh, devices, what we call as the FastConnect 7800 family of products for smartphones, PCs, uh, gaming platforms, XR, VR platforms. And then we also have our uh, access gateway products uh, comprising of the networking pro series and immersive home platforms. They all are in production now from a Qualcomm perspective. And we have over 350 designs in the works or either shipping or in the process of getting shipped. Uh, all of which I believe will be shipping in production by the first half of 2024. So very excited about uh, what has been a buzz around Wi-Fi 7 and the reality that Qualcomm's making available uh, to the marketplace with the shipments of uh, not only our chips, but also end products. Mm -hmm. So do you also think it'd be possible to share your view or Qualcomm's view about where you see investment being made, certainly around this new networking technology? Yeah, again, an excellent question. I think uh, we see a couple of big, uh, you know, areas. We talked about Wi-Fi 7. Uh, the appetite to go to the next generation Wi-Fi is absolutely there and live, uh, given the momentum, given the discussions that we are having with our customers, given the products that our customers are designing. The second biggest thing that we see is uh, the need to graduate the broadband networks uh, either on fiber or on fixed wireless access to 5G with 10 gigabits of uh, capacity on the broadband side or fiber with something like XGS PON and 10 gigabits of uh, gateway capacity on the broadband side. And so those are a couple of areas at a platform level where Qualcomm sees the opportunity for servicing the market with what exactly the market needs. And as a result, our investments are in those platforms. Number one, number two, we also see the need to graduate the experience or the quality of experience in the home to a newer level. And as a result, we are bringing a software platform called Service Defined Wi-Fi to the marketplace. And so these are you know, a couple of big things amongst many that uh, Qualcomm is investing in right now. Okay. Um, with Wi-Fi 7, one of the big differentiators is the use of spectrum. So, um, especially in Europe, we're seeing um, spectrum being allocated within the six um, gigahertz spectrum range. Um, maybe you could give an update about that. And also, how do you see um, the variation in terms of people that are getting the 500 megahertz of spectrum or perhaps um, 1200 megahertz of spectrum versus um, users that are able to access that six uh, gigahertz spectrum? Well, I think uh, uh, Wi-Fi 7 has uh, the mechanics and the technical implementation that leverages, uh, you know, or works with rather the variability in the six gigahertz spectrum. 
uh, and I anticipate that variability to remain across Europe and larger uh, you know, markets around the world as well. And so Wi-Fi 7 has that unique ability to combine channels across multiple spectrums and across uh, you know, uh, you know, of what's available in six gigahertz and bring in that performance boost with the feature called multi-link operation that uh, is equivalent of carrier aggregation in the cellular world. And so it's uniquely developed to deal with uh, the variability of the six gigahertz spectrum. I anticipate the variability to remain in your across various regions in Europe and uh, Wi-Fi 7 being uh, exactly what's needed to uh, you know, support uh, the usage of six gigahertz in Europe and other parts of the world. Thank you, and thanks so much for talking to me today. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, nice talking to you too.